Now the next thing we're going to do with bonds now is calculate, show you how to calculate the yield on a bond. As I told you before, once you get out of the bond indenture, you either have to know how to calculate the price of the bond or you have to know how to calculate the yield on the bond. Now the previous video I showed you how to calculate the price of the bond. In this scenario now, they tell us the price of the bond. It's $960. And the question becomes, what's the yield of maturity on the bond? Now, a bond's yield to maturity is the internal rate of return on the bond. So as an investor, you're curious in this case, if I go out in the market and I spend $960 on this bond, and for that investment I get $45 every six months for 10 years, and then $1,000 10 years from now, what rate of return would I earn on my bond investment? Well, rate of return on a bond is referred to as the yield to maturity on, on the bond. Up here you see the bond pricing formula that we talked about when we were doing bond valuations. And in this case, we know the value of the bond in the market. We're not looking for that anymore. We know that the price of the bond in the market is $960. The internal rate of return, again, is that interest rate that sets the present value of the inflows equal to the present value of the outflows, what we would pay for the bond. So again, our question here is, if we pay $960 for this bond, and from that investment we get $45 every six months for 10 years, and then $1,000 10 years from now, what rate of return would we earn on the bond? Now just so you know, the yield that we use here, this is an interpolated yield. And this process here that we're doing, we're going to show you the first step here and then we'll finish up the problem in the next video. But as a student now, you need to understand that you know there's no way to directly put an interest rate in here. You could, but it'd just be a trial and error kind of procedure. And that's not something that you really want to do. That takes a long time to get the correct answer. The first thing I'm going to show you how to do is calculate what's called the approximate yield to maturity. That's what this stands for, approximate yield to maturity. Now, the approximate yield to maturity, in the numerator of the equation, the annual interest the bond pays. I know this is a semi-annual paying bond, but this formula calls for the annual interest. So in this case, 9% of $1,000, 0.09 times 1,000, will get you the annual interest, which is $90. To that $90 now, we're going to add what's going to turn out to be the average capital gain per year. And to calculate that now, we take the price of the bond at maturity. What will be the price of the bond 10 years from now at maturity? Long story short, all bonds sell for face value at maturity. So the price of this bond 10 years from now will be $1,000. You take the price of the bond at maturity, you subtract the price of the bond in the market, which is $960 in this case. $1,000 minus $960. That's the total capital gain you're going to get on this bond. So you're going to get a $40 capital gain on this bond investment. But you don't get it in one year, you get it over what? 10 years, the number of years to maturity. So this bond on average now, 40 over 10 is going to be four. On average, this bond will go up in value $4 every year for 10 years. Because at maturity, the bond's going to sell for what? $1,000. So this is going to be 90. In the brackets here, this is going to turn out to be four. So the numerator here is going to be $94. What you divided by now is the price of the bond at maturity plus the price of the bond now in the market divided by two. This gives you the average value of the bond over its life. What this is is the ending value plus the beginning value divided by two. A common mistake on tests, students change the two to something else. This is always a two, okay? So if you take thousand plus 960 divided by 2, you're going to get $980. This is what the equation would look like, the annual interest plus the price of the bond at maturity 
minus the price of the bond now, divided by the number of years to maturity, which is 10 in this case. The denominator, the price of maturity, plus the price now divided by 2. What this gives you is the average inflow per year in the numerator and the average value per year in the denominator. Average inflow divided by average value gives you the approximate yield of maturity. 94 over 980, which is a 9.59%. So at this point now in this process, and we're not through with finding the yield on this bond, but at this point what we think because of our approximate yield of maturity, we think the actual yield on this bond is somewhere between 9% and 10%. Why do we believe that? Well, we believe that because the approximate yield of maturity is 9.59%, which is somewhere between 9% and 10%. Now, we're going to interpolate to find the yield on this bond. Remember in a previous video I showed you how to interpolate. We're going to do that again, but we're going to apply it to bond valuation, bond yields in this case, and uh, that'll be in the next video.